Hi guys, Rob from Roll Balls. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on how we're doing dealing with this uh, pandemic. I've seen a few posts on Instagram recently of people treating their snakes for mites and actually killing their snakes. So um, I thought I'd just uh, clarify that. Our objective here is to uh, kill mites, not snakes. Um, so you'll notice that uh, most of my methods are fairly mild. Um, I soak for a very limited period of time. I don't leave the snakes in there for hours on end. Um, the uh, detergent that I use is uh, cat flea uh, detergent, which is non-toxic. Uh, you can guarantee that if you treat a cat with it, it's going to lick it and uh, it won't kill the cat. The concentrations we use in the uh, soaking bowl are very low. We don't want the snake to drink it, so we don't leave it in there for very long. Um, but even if it does accidentally drink it, it won't kill your snake. And also the olive oil. Uh, the initial treatment, after we've um, uh, used olive oil on the snake sparingly, we won't be doing that again every day. It's a treatment that you use only when you need to. It is extremely effective. Uh, but you'll also see that some of my treatments are centred around containment and actually involve treating the tubs and trying to stop the spread of mites between tubs rather than actually treating the snake itself. Remember the life cycle of mites, um, they have to leave your snake to lay their eggs, they lay their eggs on the substrate or on the paper, in the tub, not on the snake, and that gives us a chance to intercept them. Um, before they recontaminate your snake. So we're focused on the science, uh, breaking the uh, life cycle of the mite and also uh, focusing on its weaknesses. Uh, it breathes through breathing tubes which um, all we need to do is block off and they suffocate and that is not necessarily a harsh treatment for your snake. Um, it does require vigilance it does require treatment over a couple of weeks. You're not going to solve this problem overnight. There is not a single treatment that will kill mites in one day. Um, anything that you do that is that harsh is also going to be quite harsh on the snakes. Um, so it is a gentle treatment over the course of a couple of weeks. But you'll see that within the first couple of days uh, we quickly get a handle on this and uh, there are very few uh, mites in the water bowl when I actually soak the snakes. Only for five minutes while I clean their tubs, that's all it needs. Um, and if there are any mites in there then we, uh, we treat that snake individually. We don't treat all the snakes every single day, there's no need for that. Uh, so once we get through the initial phase we're focused on containment uh, rather than actually treating the snakes. We treat the snakes subsequent to the first treatment as and when necessary, not every day. So please don't go killing your snakes. Uh, these treatments are fairly mild and they are designed not to upset your snakes. Uh, my snakes have continued feeding throughout this process of treatment. Uh, they're not so upset that they've even gone off food. Uh, so that gives you an indication of how gentle the treatment is. But also you'll see from the uh, progress that we've made that it is also extremely effective if done properly. I don't know whether you can actually see that guys but on the floor here because I've been using oil there's just a little mist of oil on the floor which makes the floor a little bit kind of sticky and I'm going to leave that I'm not going to clean that I'm going to leave it for the next day or so to trap anything that might be moving around that little bit of oil covering there if there is any bugs and stuff trying to go between the racks, that oil will get them and they will suffocate. Ok guys, so we're at uh, day three. Um, I've had a couple of very long days in the snake room cleaning out everything. But uh, today I'm just going to run through uh, my protocols on a daily basis while we uh, beat this um, infestation. So you'll see the range of products I have. People complained I had too many. Um, when you go to war, you go all in. Um, but uh, for my daily checks now, I just have my uh, dilute uh, Jurassic Mite. I have my little flea shampoo and my tub of water. And I'm just going to put a drop in here. Like that. And I have a little tub of olive oil. Oh, and my reading glasses so that I can see better. Uh, 
and if I sound a little more enthusiastic and uh, a little less stressed it's because we've got this thing under control. Okay, so my daily checks are to now go through all the tubs. So if the tubs are still clean and I don't see any signs on the paper or in the water bowl of uh, any mites or anything, uh, I'm just going to leave them. These were treated and uh, they do have the anti-mite in the tub and these snakes were coated with oil before they went back into their tubs. Uh, the oil has pretty much rubbed off now onto the sides of the, the tubs and onto the paper uh, so these are all looking good. This girl due to lay in a week or so. Don't want to disturb her too much. But I have checked her over and I can't spot any creepy crawlies on there. This girl here, a white snake. It's not obvious when there's anything wrong with this girl. She is uh, either going to ovulate or has ovulated. She's hiding under the paper. Very distinct change in behaviour. Just check the water bowl. The water bowl is clear. Again this girl. A white snake, at least in part, so easy to see. If there's any bugs on this girl, you just check the water more. See that's actually a mark on the on the water bowl. Some of these ceramic water bowls have Little black marks on them, that's not actually a mite in there. It's a little black mark, so she appears clean. This girl here, the water bowl's clean, no bugs in there. She has ovulated and she's coming up for her pre lay shed. Again, distinct change in behaviour, hiding underneath the paper. I don't want to disturb this girl too much, but she appears to be quite clean, if a little bit uncomfortable and lumpy looking. So she's got about a month to go before she lays eggs. We're expecting the pre-lay shed from her. I don't want to disturb her too much. Uh, I didn't change the paper on this one so that she didn't feel uncomfortable, but um, there is white paper in there so I can see if there's any bugs or anything. She's clean. White snake, it's a blue-eyed leucistic. This is my super lesser. So let's just take a look. And there he is. And again, clean as a whistle, nothing on this guy. Uh, nothing on the paper, a little bit of bedding there. But you can see that this guy is clean as a whistle, which is great news. Check out this girl. It's 
take out the water bowl and check the water bowl. That is not a mite, that's a little piece of whitish, I think that's probably a piece of pea. That's not, not a mite. See, that's, that's light coloured. You get paranoid, obviously. But uh, the clear water bowl is a, a dead giveaway. If she'd been soaking in there, and there were any mites in there. So we'll just give her a once over. Make sure there's nothing crawling on her. And make sure there's nothing crawling in the tub. Watch a snake, the bumblebee calico. Check the water, and there's no bugs in the water. There's nothing crawling on her, and I do have my reading glasses on. There's nothing in the tub. Nothing at all in there. So that's great news. Let's check the pewter. Nothing in the water bowl. A little bit of dirt. No mites in there. And there he is. Just a couple of So what we'll do there is just rub a little bit of oil on there, just I'm not sure what that is, but we'll just put a little bit of olive oil on there. If those are mites that will definitely kill them. But I don't see anything on him. Little black dot down there, let's see what that is. I'm trying to squish it. And it won't squish. Not sure what that is. Here's another little tip for you. Now, what I've been doing, because these bugs appear to jump from tub to tub, is just to take a little dab of oil and rub it around the rim of the tub. Just on the top of the tub. So it's not going on the snake, it's not going inside the tub. It's just going onto the top lip of the tub, which means that anything that wants to crawl out or anything that wants to crawl in has to go across this oil, and they can't. This will stop anything from getting in the tubs or out of the tubs. And the other benefit to oiling that is that my tubs slide really nicely into the racks. So that's an additional benefit to doing that, but all of the tubs have been done. So what I'm going to do is to go through every single tub to check whether the snake needs cleaning. Uh, these two guys here actually need cleaning. So what I'm going to do is to put on my reading glasses. And the first thing I do is to check the water tub here against the white surface just to check and see whether there's anything in the in the water tub. Uh, 
and I have a bowl down here. So we'll quickly just wipe off the water tub, make sure that's clean. And I'm checking in the paper there to see if there's any bugs on the paper or in the tub. And what I'll do is take the snake and while I'm cleaning its tub, just drop it in the water. This is the beautiful orange dream yellow belly. Check the water bowl. A little black mark there is actually again another one of those marks on the ceramic. It's actually in the in the paint, so not a mite. Always best to jiggle it around because they move. Check him out. Just take a look in the water bowl. There is one. One more and one more. So we've got three critters from washing the whole of the collection that needed washing. So I think we got this thing under control, we just need to keep going until it's done. Okay guys, I hope you're all safe in quarantine, uh, that all your families are safe and no one's ill. Um, please do uh, stay at home if you don't need to go out while we're doing this lockdown stuff. Um, it does seem to be working on a worldwide basis 
and it also seems to be the only protection we have at the moment in the absence of any vaccinations to actually uh, cure the virus itself. So um, that's it for now guys, stay safe, don't forget to share, like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.